questions we are going to help you to answer by the end of this video. Let me start by introducing the team. Chris Jones is a frustrated end user who helped to introduce the community to fiber broadband. The trouble is that only the people nearest to each of the five cabinets are able to get reasonable speeds. A significant number of properties cannot get the speeds they need to run homes or businesses. Next is Phil Crane who used to be the chairman of Mollington Parish Council. He has already done a sterling job in persuading some of his neighbors to apply for their vouchers. In Lee, Dave Evans has been working to get local residents to sign up for their vouchers. Twenty years ago BT was developing fiber optic technology and our team member, Andrew Harkness, was an engineer working on that project. Dan Lay runs an IT business and currently has a fiber connection but it is very expensive, so he is very keen to be involved in our barn project. And last but not least, is Mike Jones, who has been working with many of our local farmers to obtain the way leaves needed to give us permission to lay the cables across their fields. I'm going to start by explaining why we want to build a fibre broadband network in our community. We all know that the smartphone has become a vital part of many aspects of our lives and almost everybody seems to have one. Would it surprise you to find out that the smartphone was introduced to the world as recently as 2007, just 13 years ago? The speed with which the smartphone has been adopted is typical of the way our society is adopting a whole range of new technologies. Some of the technologies that are currently being developed may seem like science fiction today, but in just a few years will become essential to our way of life. The one thing that all future technology will need is a fast and reliable broadband connection. The network that we are planning to build with the help of Barn will give every connected home and business a reliable 1000 megabits per second for both downloading and uploading. This is the fastest rural broadband connection anywhere in the world. A barn fibre network in our community will mean that whatever new technology comes along in the next few years, we will be able to take advantage of it. The Six Villages Hyperfast project to build a fibre broadband network in partnership with Barn includes the villages of Little Stanny, Crowton, Backford, Lee by Backford, Mollington and Sorgal. The region our project covers is bounded by some physical barriers that are difficult and expensive to cross, which are Parkgate Road to the west, Dunkirk Way and Strawberry Way to the north, the M53 to the east and the canal to the south. Within this region there are 728 homes that could be connected to our network. The fibre optic internet connection for our network will come from Capenhurst which is part of the Cheshire Barn project to the north of us and will connect to the primary school in Mollington. A green cabinet will be installed in the ground of the primary school from which a pair of fibres will run to every home and business that wants to be connected to our fibre network. For allowing us to use the school grounds for the green cabinet, Barn will give the school free gigabit broadband which will save the school about £3,000 a year.
Barn have created an initial plan to show where the ducts that will contain the fibres will be laid. One of the jobs that we will need to do is to use our local knowledge together with talking to landowners to improve and finalise the route of each duct. The Cheshire Barn project is building a fibre broadband network in the region to the north of us in the area coloured green. They started their project about a year before we did and have just started to connect homes to their fibre network. In our project area there are 728 homes. The progress of our project depends on us meeting some targets. The first target we need to reach is to get 30% of the homes in our area to apply for a gigabit voucher. When we reach this target, Barn will start work to lay the connection from Cheshire Barn to the green cabinet in the primary school in Mollington. For Barn to start connecting homes to the fibre network, we need to reach the target of 50% of homes having applied for their gigabit voucher. The work that's been done so far has resulted in 58 homes having successfully applied for a gigabit voucher. The six team members, Chris, Phil, Dave, Andrew, Dan and Mike, have made a start on this project, but they cannot do it on their own. This is a community project and so more members of the community need to get involved to move the project forward and make it a success. The first thing that you can do as a volunteer is to register for a gigabit voucher on the barn website if you haven't done so already. To find this web page just go to Google and search for Get Barn. You need to enter your postcode and then there is a short form that asks you for your details. It is important that you have experienced the process of applying for a gigabit voucher because this is what we need you to encourage your neighbours to do. To help you with your communication with your neighbours by phone, email or social media, we have prepared two documents. There is a flyer that contains all the key points that will help you to convince your neighbours to apply for a gigabit voucher. The flyer was designed to be delivered to members of the community. It would be a good idea if you can send it to your neighbours electronically. We have also used our experience of talking to neighbours to prepare a frequently asked questions booklet. We know it will not answer all of your questions, but hopefully it is a good start. First, we would like to thank you for volunteering to help with our community broadband project. The more people that get involved, the more likely the project is to be successful. Hopefully this video has refreshed your memory of our barn project and we hope that you are still excited about the project and willing to help. Remember that this is a community project needs members of the community to get involved so that we can provide better broadband for all in our community. Your task now is to review the information that we have provided in this video, the flyer and the frequently asked questions booklet.